Hello everyone, how's it going? It's Vasco from the Angular University. I'm really excited to bring you this course on the Angular 2 router. As you might know, the Angular 2 router allows you to build single page applications in Angular 2. Now, you might be wondering, what is a single page application and what's in it for me as a developer? Why would I want to build an application that way? In the end of this lesson, we are also going to learn why, if this is such a great way of building applications, why hasn't everybody been using it everywhere until now and why that probably will change in the future. Let's give you a quick demo. Take a look at this page. Uh, this is the page of the Angular University. It's, of course, an Angular 2 single page application. And take a look when you start clicking around. This is not in uh, fast forward mode, this video. This is in real time. You can see how fluid the experience is when you change from one menu to the other, when you click on a filter in a data table, when you go to another page in a data table, when you navigate between lessons. Notice that the back and the forward button work perfectly and notice also the URL. It's just a plain HTTP URL, but this is too fast for having a page reload between each of these transitions. You can see here that the URL changes, but the page updates almost immediately. So let's see what's going on here. Let's have a look at the network tab to try to see what's going on. So if we now navigate between pages, we can see that after the initial load of the HTML from the server, what happens during transitions is that we are simply doing AJAX requests that only retrieve data under the form of JSON from the backend. There is no more retrieval of HTML from the backend. There are no more full page reloads. We stay on the same page even though the URL changes. That's why it's called a single page application. Now, how does this work? It's very simple. We are using under the hood the standard browser history API. Let's see here in caniuse.com. The history API is available in basically all browsers that are Internet Explorer 11 or above. If by some reason you find yourself in a situation where you cannot use the browser history API, we have a lesson for that in the end of this course. The router is not only about building single page applications, it's about structuring very dynamic applications that the user can customize according to its preferences, where there are several regions of the page that can contain different content depending on the state of the application and what the user shows to display. With the Angular 2 router, we can create Applications that have a great user experience that are deep linkable and very dynamic and configurable. And you might be wondering, well, why isn't the whole internet built as single page applications? They have been around for years, right? The most important reason for that was up until recently search engine optimization. So single page applications had trouble getting indexed correctly by search engines when compared to plain HTML applications. According to Google themselves, this has become now much better and the Google crawler is now much more able to crawl correctly a single page application. So you shouldn't be surprised if you start seeing a lot more single page applications in the next coming years. Now, that's all great, but how do we build a single page application? That's what we're going to learn in this course. Let's start our deep dive in the Angular 2 router. Coming right up in the next lesson.